Hi, my name is Robin O'Keefe, and I'm a scientist at Marshall University in West Virginia. Today, we're at the Page Museum in Los Angeles, California, visiting the La Brea Tar Pits. I'm Julie Meachin. I am an assistant professor of anatomy at Des Moines University in Des Moines, Iowa. I'm standing in front of a big display of dire wolf skulls. Dire wolves were very interesting animals. They're related to modern gray wolves, but they're larger and more ferocious. I'm standing in front of Smilodon today, and this is the critter that I'm studying. I'm looking at the jaw of Smilodon and how Smilodon changes over time. We studied the mandible of Smilodon for our study. Using a technique called two-dimensional morphometrics, we were able to actually study the shape of each mandible and bring those all together into the computer and study how the shape of the mandibles changed over time in La Brea. One of the real special things about the La Brea tar pits is the number of fossils that we find here. As you can see from the wall here, there are literally hundreds of dire wolf crania that were deposited over a long period of time during the ice ages. Now we study these groups of fossils to understand how dire wolves changed over time, how they evolved, here at Rancho La Brea. No, as far as we know, we're the first to ever look at the mandibles of Smilodon um, and change through time. We also correlated this change to climate in the Pleistocene. Another thing that we're doing in my lab is that I have a graduate student who's looking at the jaws of Canis dyrus, the dire wolf, using basically the same uh, methodology. And then we can look at the jaws of the saber-toothed tiger and we can look at the jaws of the dire wolf and really compare how shape is changing in both of those taxa at the same time so we can study how the entire carnivore guild is evolving over time. This tar pits collection is very unique uh, for several reasons. First of all, the quantity of fossils that are here is amazing. Second of all, this is a carnivore trap. So we have more carnivores at this site than at any other fossil site known. The La Brea tar pits are unique. And the reason that they're unique is here on the wall. It's the number of fossils that we find here. Uh, it really is a resource that is not duplicated across the entire world. What we can learn from the tar pits about evolutionary response to climate change is really unusual and unprecedented. There's nowhere else really in the world you can go and ask the kinds of questions that we're asking. The research we're doing here at La Brea is important because it can tell us about how ecosystems respond to climate change. And obviously that's very important for the challenges that we face today.